So let's talk about weather. Uh, so now it's a new feature of TZI Bot. You can overlay weather on top of your chart. So um, I'm going to show you that on the iPad first. So let's unzoom a little. So I'm on the west coast of the USA here on the Columbia River. Uh, let's tap that layer button and let's select wind, for example. You can see that now, uh, you know, TZI Bot is displaying the wind uh, using uh, color, but also using particle animation. At the very bottom, you have a time bar that you can uh, offset just to look at what will be the weather for the next couple of days. Something also very nice, we have what we call a meteogram uh, that you can open just like so, and that will display, um, you know, the weather for a specific point. Um, so you can look right now, you know, tomorrow will be cloudy, uh, no wind though, uh, and after the wind will pick up a little bit, and after, you know, it will be night. And right now, by default, the meteogram shows the weather that will occur at your position, but if you can tap on that button here, you can actually move the location to pretty much see what will be the weather for the next few days anywhere. You can select, you know, if you want to look at temperature, if you want to look at waves, um, all of that can be customized. So let's say, for example, you want to look at waves uh, on the map, you go back to the layer and you select wave. And same thing here, uh, TZ is going to show you the wave with color, but also with a uh, particle animation. So it's very, very easy to use. So the way you access weather is either you have an internet access directly available on your iPad or iPhone. In that case, TZ will directly access our weather server and stream weather. But of course, if you do not have internet access, then you can download weather at home. And you do so by clicking on the uh, TZ menu here, and you go to offline, chart and download, and you can just tap to download and cache a specific weather area. So it's very, very easy. This is the same way to cache and download charts, by the way. Okay? So just to show you on my iPhone, you know, uh, I can unzoom, same thing. Let's look at the weather here. So I'm going to tap on that menu, uh, find wind, and here I go, I have weather on my iPhone.